Welcome to 843 TV. I'm your host, Lisa Richardson, and today we are here at Spring Island with the absolutely beautiful Chichesi Creek behind us. We're going to be learning all about the wonderful amenities here for guests and members at Spring Island. First up is our Director of Recreation and Wellness, Ms. Tammy Randolph, to share all about the wonderful opportunities at the sports complex and more. Next joining us is Mr. Tony Mills. He is the Education Director, here to share about his special show, Coastal Kingdom, and a wonderful camp available for kids here called Camp Spring Island. So stick around for this episode of 843 TV, where communities come to speak. Eight Four Three TV, where the Low Country comes to speak, where Bluffton comes to speak, where Hilton Head Island comes to speak, where Beaufort comes to speak. Eight Four Three TV, where communities come to speak. Welcome to 843 TV. We're here at the absolutely gorgeous Spring Island at the Walker Sports Complex. And joining us first is Tammy Randolph. She's the Director of Recreation and Wellness, and she's gonna share all about the opportunities here at Spring Island. Good morning, and thank you for having us out today. Well, thanks for being here, Lisa, we appreciate it. You dialed up some wonderful weather. It's July, but yet it's it's beautiful. It's nice and cool. We've got this breeze, and how about this background here? The Chichesi River, right? I got that right. Well, Chichesi. Chichesi Creek. Creek. Okay, I knew I was going to need help with that. So Tammy, share a little bit about you and your role here. Um, yes, I have been here six years. I have been so blessed to be here for six years. I serve as the Director of Recreation and Wellness. Um, so what that entails, it's a pretty large umbrella and I've spoken um, before on that. I have the fitness programming. I have the wellness programming with all of our spa therapies. Um, I also serve to assist the outdoor pursuits team and our tennis professionals as well. So it gets to be a pretty large umbrella. Under that, of course, comes a bunch of different outdoor amenities, such as the bikes, kayaks, croquet, pickleball, and some things that um, I'd love to talk with you more about. Yeah, let's break some of those things down then. Sure. Let's start with the complex itself, the different recreation opportunities that are here. Okay, um, so outside of just the traditional fitness and wellness opportunities, we also outfit our members and guests with bikes. We outfit with kayaks. Um, and then not only do we do that, we will do some guided opportunities on both biking and kayaking because we do have an active community in, um, in road biking as well. So we will often do off-island rides with, the, with our biking community. Um, with the kayaks as well, we do guided kayaking tours, typically weekly and that's seasonal. Um, if you're lucky enough to grab one of these wonderful professionals, they will also, um, they oftentimes will take folks out on educational tours by kayaks. So you can see a lot of all of our vegetation and our wildlife which is our, you know, our waterfowl life out with them being the guides, which is so fabulous. And later in our next segment, you're gonna share a little bit on that, a little bit more on Absolutely. that. Absolutely. So this sports complex here has a lot of things we mentioned besides the fitness facility and some of the water sports. What else is inside? I, I notice a, a couple of uh, courts over there, a swimming pool. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, the pools. Um, we have a seasonal family pool um, and we typically keep that during the high volume peak periods such as we open it around um, Easter and the spring break and then typically it does not make it quite to Christmas depending on what the weather offers us but we have done that in the past. Um, our lap pool, we have an exercise pool that is we season that year round so it is the water is conditioned to a comfortable 84 degrees whether it is in the heat of summer or the cool of winter so <laughs> yes we have that as well. We also have um, the croquet court, the croquet lawn which is a world-class croquet lawn. Um, it is maintained by our experts from the golf maintenance area and all of our um, international players who have come to play on the court really love the opportunity to come and, and oftentimes enjoy practicing here as well. Um, on island, we have a very active croquet group as well. They meet um, under structured um, 
structured events twice a week, I think. Um, wine and Wickets, of course, is always popular. You bring wine into the mix and it gets a, <laughs> turns things up a bit. Um, and then there is a community play day on Sunday that's quite, pos uh, quite um, popular. We also have a, um, Will Stenick is our golf pro or our croquet professional here, and he will do clinics and also private training as well um, to teach the game of golf croquet. He also offers um, Aussie Rules Croquet, which is a little more difficult, and they have a group that is um, very avidly involved in Six Wicket, American Six Wicket. So we do try to meet the needs of our croquet players, and um, it's become very popular as well, very social. I'm thinking that if the residents have a, quite an opportunity to try some new things, do you try to work with them maybe to get them to explore some new activities and try to get them acclimated? I'm sure you probably can offer a very personal touch. Oh, absolutely. Um, one of our newest, uh, actually, is pickleball. Pickleball is one of the biggest crazes across the it country. It is, isn't it? <laughs> it is. It's taking everywhere by storm, especially the low country. So um, we followed suit, built two brand new pickleball courts, um, and just opened those in the springtime. It's been hugely popular here as well. And in an um, effort to get people out, we offer, of course, beginner clinics. Um, we have brought professionals from outside of the community in who have been associated with the United States Pickleball Association um, to teach clinics and to get the excitement built in our, um, in our non-players. And we do fun little socials, um, such as member guests, where a member can bring a non-player and try to simulate the, the um, participation in that way. And we do that with many of our other amenities as well, but that being um, one of our newest ones, that's been how we've been able to gather, um, gather more participation with that. Do you get Tony involved with any of these things? <laughs> I, I have not tried pickleball or croquet. Ah. Yet. There you go, new opportunity but. for you. Then. <laughs> Indeed, I would be a little nervous getting him on the pickleball court with that wingspan. He could he could easily <laughs> take over. Yeah, so. I don't. <laughs> there's, I, also, um, so there's also an Outfitter Center. How about that? Share with us a little bit about that. Absolutely, so our Outfitter Center is located in the sports complex as well. And what we do is basically um, guests to the island and also members, we can outfit them with fishing gear, um, bait, tackle, we have electric motors and almost all of our ponds or at least our larger ponds have John boats on them and the electrical motors um, will help our guests have wonderful experiences there on the ponds through that. And I just want to say the fishing is amazing on this island, not only in Chichesse Creek right behind us but also in a lot of the freshwater ponds and some of the saltwater impoundments we have. It's, it's excellent fishing. It, it very much is. Now also, there is something very interesting we're gonna talk about, the quail hunting. And oh, there's yes. some neat history here with the, the Red Bluff it is plantation. Red Bluff. Tell us about that. Sure, so um, many may know, uh, Spring Island started as a hunting plantation prior to being a residential community. So in an effort to maintain that long lineage of history, they have partnered over the years with different plantations around the area to offer quail hunting. Um, the most recent partnership has been with Red Bluff Plantation, which is about a 40 minute drive. Um, that facility offers world-class quail hunting, which is of great interest to a lot of our members and certainly guests and most certainly potential members. Sure. Um, so what they do, they've worked with a hunt master there for many years and he is very renowned and they offer which I have not seen myself, but I cannot wait to be a guest to see this in fact, but they have um, wagon hunts, traditional wagon hunts, which are pulled by, um, they're led by mules. Um, and then they also offer walk-up hunts. They have dogs there, or you may bring your own dogs if you have trains hunting dogs as well. Um, it's about a 6,000 square foot property and the, it is truly one of the most wonderful um, opportunities here on the island. There's certainly not a lack of really fine activities here for sure at Spring Island. There's a lot more to talk about, so you all stay right here. We'll be back with more 843 TV.